I'm fed up with getting banned from establishments for having autism. The same people who glorify autism like it's a good thing won't know I'm on the autism spectrum. If, if they see me walk in the streets, they'll presume the worst. Fingers are pointed at me. Insults and threats are shouted at me. Uh, when I got sent to slums, it, it, and the locals didn't want me around. They made up rumors about me. I was falsely accused of being a registered sex offender. If anybody had asked me, I would say, Google my name and you'll clearly see I'm not on that list. Plain and simple. But instead of asking me whether the rumor is true or false, some person just jumped me. And, and he got away with it because he had a witness lie for him. This happens all the time. Uh... No, nobody hires disabled people who don't look disabled. And the, and the disability money isn't enough to live on. I'm barely able to pay rent and a phone bill. Um, and the media is inconsistently lying about autism. While fictional misrepresentations of autism are, are meant to glorify it, the news media does the opposite. Autism has nothing to do with rampages. The media lied. Autism can't cause rampages. It's ableist to blame people on the autism spectrum for, for, rampa for rampages, and it's ableist to glorify autism. I got traumatized by the better kind of autism. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm, it, it could be worse, like nonverbal uh, prone to seizures, having to wear helmets or even diapers for an entire lifetime. The area of the spectrum I'm on uh, is what's glorified by exaggerating the positive aspects of Savant Syndrome. Like there wouldn't also be negative aspects. I didn't literally have superpowers just because I read a lot of books. I was a nerd in elementary school. I, you know, but... Uh, it's not a gift. It's not a superpower. It has its moments. There are much worse degrees of autism than my case. I've never denied that. I know what a spectrum is. Unlike these charlatans faking autism for clout, there's been a trend on the internet of acting like fictional characters. Uh, for example, Dr. Sheldon Cooper from the Big Bang Theory and Young Sheldon. That's not real life. A, it's fiction, and B, it's comedy. It it's not even presented as based on a true story. And it's, it's it, the, the fact that it's comedy should be enough of a hint that it's not meant to be taken seriously. Uh, th there shouldn't have to be disclaimers telling people this isn't real life. You know, the, the populace should know better. And, and the same people who say, people with autism are really smart, they're just different, will discriminate against me if they see me because they won't know I, I'm on the spectrum. And... Just because they don't know better doesn't mean they're not in the wrong. If it's unintentional ableism, it's ableism. It's still wrong. They don't get rectified just because they didn't know that I have the condition they glamorize. Uh, th th them being unaware, in other words, ignorant, certainly won't indemnif indemnify the harm that they caused. Just, just because they didn't mean to target a person who has the condition they think is a good thing doesn't mean they didn't. They did. Uh, there was a, a recent incident at Trinity Bar in New Haven where a, a, an instigator quickly noticed that I seemed like an easy target to pick a fight with, so he said, off limits. Uh, he couldn't have possibly known whether my eyes were open or closed since I had my sunglasses on. And... My thoughts race so much that I, 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 I could easily be unaware of, of what direction I seem to be looking in. It happens. It's called mind chatter. It, it, you know, it, it, if my own mind chatter is going on and on and on, say more so than usual, then I definitely have no idea uh, who or what I might seem to be looking at. I don't stare at people. That's absurd. And I... I tried to de-escalate the situation by explaining, you know, that uh, I, I wasn't checking out any um, anybody. I, I, I didn't know any of those people were there because the mind chatter distracted me. 
if I had been standing next to furniture without knowing there, there was furniture right next to me, uh, that'd be a similar thing, except that it's not people. It, it, this happens all the time, and maybe they think they're important enough to be worth staring at because they're conceited. I'm not sure why so many people have that problem. Uh, the people that ask would be them, not me. In any event, they don't admit that they're wrong. So this person who, who, who falsely accused me of being creepy kept going on and on and on. And I would later realize that I shouldn't have, simp I shouldn't have been so kind about it by trying to de-escalate the situation. I should have been firm. I should have told him, you can't possibly know whether my eyes are open or closed. I'm wearing sunglasses. And, you know, my thoughts are racing. I, 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 I should have just not let him get away with it. Instead... A whole crowd shouted racial slurs at me. And Tr Trinity Bar isn't an Irish pub. It's in an American slum where the Irish and their descendants are hated. Most of the locals shout racial slurs at Irish Americans for most of the year than they pretend to be Irish on St. Patrick's Day. They'll go to Trinity Bar and wear a shamrock for one day per year. But when they see... It, it, an Irish American walk in the streets, they'll shout racial slurs. Uh, I don't have to take a DNA test to prove that some of my ancestors' complexion was darker than mine. That's besides the point. I'm not even white, and so what if I was? I didn't harm anybody by, by simply walking in the streets and slums I got sent to. You know, it wasn't my choice. It was my money paying rent, but I didn't choose where to reside. I would never willingly reside in a slum. I kept getting sent to slums where I was given a hard time over my complexion. And it's like, why care too much about a person's complexion? Uh, moreover, the Irish were never considered white by the British imperialists. Historically, people who called themselves white meant that they considered themselves superior and they didn't mean because of their complexion. Italians wouldn't have been considered white if not for the Columbus Day parades reminding Americans that Columbus was Italian. Just because a person has fair complexion doesn't mean that anyone else has grounds to tell that person uh, what terms to identify with. It... it, it and how dare they shout white boy at a mixed man? And uh, they even accuse me of privilege. I don't have privilege. They don't know me. I'm not... I've lost an entire lifetime because autism made me an easy target. I got experimented on. I got forcibly drugged for most of my life. Forced drugging is torture. Post-traumatic stress disorder got exacerbated every time I got sent back to hospitals to get forcibly drugged again. I, I was finally able to find a better prescriber who actually let me taper off of those drugs. And uh, I, I, I've been functioning quite well without them for years now. Uh, and... To this day, the ableism continues. It's terrifying having to appear in public. Uh, if I get invited to an event by the person hosting the event, it's not like I'd be allowed in. If there's somebody working at the door, people who work at these establishments are like, can I help you, freak? And, and I wouldn't be surprised if they watch TV and movies and, and think they're experts on autism. Unbelievable. What happened at, at, at Trinity Bar was absolutely sickening. I could have been murdered. And the bouncer said, you're not disabled. You're high as a kite. Ableism was combined with racism. 
the person discriminated against really is a third generation Irish American, while those frauds who pretend to be Irish sided with the hate mongers who shouted racial slurs at me, and how dare the bouncer deny that I have a disability. I find it hilarious that he thought I was faking a disability to get away with being on drugs. Bouncers are more likely to be addicted to steroids than most people. I don't know whether or not he is a steroid addict. He might not be. It's just worth mentioning that there's a lot more steroid addiction amongst bouncers than, say, the general public. So, I, that could explain why he was projecting. Um, I... Uh, I've been kicked out of places and pushed while I was already on my way out the door. Years ago, when I stooped so low that I resorted to Zen Bar because I had nothing else to do, not thrilled about it, uh, I got kicked out because a bunch of people uh, were accusing me of acting strange and they, they could have simply looked the other way. I mean, if they pay taxes, they look the other way. You know, I mean, most American taxpayers wouldn't want to know where their money goes. It's not for fixing the roads. A lot of atrocities happen because of the money uh, that people spend. And uh, uh, they could have looked the other way when they saw a person on the autism spectrum and didn't know that person was on the autism spectrum. They didn't have to say anything about it. And uh, if that bouncer who pushed me really thinks he's brave, then he could report himself and write a statement against himself and catch an extra charge because the person he assaulted has a disability. Uh, some troll on the internet said, that's literally a bouncer's job. No, it's assault. I was already on my way out the door and he pushed me for no reason. I wasn't facing him. My back was turned towards him and he pushed me. I was subjected to ableism at Testa's banquet facility in my hometown, Southington. More specifically, I was raised in Plantsville within Southington. This isn't Okay. Um, you know, the authorities are bribed. It's, it's not like anything would be done about this by the cops because uh, uh, they're crooked. But I, I, just, I want it publicly known what people on the autism spectrum are frequently subjected to in real life. And I especially want it publicly known that the frauds at Trinity Bar are liars. They're not Irish. They discriminated against an Irish American and, and they sided with the, the crowd shouting racial slurs at me. Therefore, they're liars. I, 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 I haven't yet been able to learn the name of the bouncer, uh, but I, I've learned... Uh, two names, the co-owners, Shane Cardi and Eddie Higgins, uh, if I recall correctly. I want it known what they did.